Hey everybody, there is Viral here, and welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay, I decided to actually not go from there over to this area, mostly because I thought it just made more sense to start up on Death Mountain and then go down to where I need to be. First and foremost, I think I'm going to paraglide over to the stable, because there's a shrine there. I think I can make it. Yeah, that's my hope anyway. Oh, I can see a bunch of fire choo choos. Yeah, nice. I didn't actually try to record this earlier, but for some reason my um internet decided to crap the bed. So yeah. It was only like fifty minutes into it, so I just decided, fuck this, I'll do it later. <laughs> and here we are. I still don't really know what the issue is when it comes to the internet stuff. It's just like, every so often my internet will just kind of like... Stop. I don't even think it's my internet being the issue, I think it's my computer being a piece of shit. In all honesty. But yeah, because it just... Stops being connected to the access point, and I don't really understand why. I think if anything I might just need to reboot my, uh... My router. Oh look, a Wizro! Oh my god, it keeps beeping at me. So, yes, I know, there's a shrine. Sheesh. Cool! Yeah, okay, just go on in and do this. I can't remember which one this is. Because in... In the time I was actually recording, I got... All the stuff that's in Trilby Valley. I did the shrine, which is tied to a shrine quest, which I didn't know. But I'll actually start the shrine quest this time. Um, I didn't really do that much, in all honesty. Which one was this? Oh yeah, the metal one. Moakit. Metal makes a path. Oh. Bugger. <laughs> I mean, I saw I saw the rock moving towards me. I was just like, yeah, I'll be fine. I didn't lose anything. Obviously, because I've done these shrines before. I know what I'm doing. Before I actually started this session, I, I had a quick quick look-see over on a uh, Game Banana. And if you don't know what that is, it's essentially the site I use to find all of the mods I have on the game. And there's apparently a Breath of the Wild like 2.0 mod, which is interesting. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, and essentially it sounds like really good. Whether or not anything comes of it, I don't know. No, oh, well, whatever. But it's probably a mod that I'll miss out on, unfortunately. A royal broadsword. Son of a bitch. But no, just from what I read, it sounded really impressive. Essentially added a bunch of new content. Um, changes the aesthetic of all the shrines, depending on the location you go into them. As I say, I only really read into it. I didn't, you know, do extensive research on it. But it sounded good. Because what I'm assuming with the shrine aesthetic is that if you're in, like, a, a shrine that's in a winter region, then it will... Okay. Then it will kind of show that. I don't, I don't exactly know how, by maybe having, like, snowy... I don't know, it just looked like a snowy landscape, maybe. I don't really know. As I said, I didn't look too much into it, I just kind of read it. Then I go on Game Banana every now and again, just to have a look at this, if, if there's any new mods that I'm interested in. 90% of the time, not the case, but... Sometimes there are. It's always just a good idea to check. Just see if there is anything new. But, unfortunately, I think quite a few of them I'm just going to end up missing out on. For various reasons. I'll give you this spirit orb. Ba -da -da -da. Why, thank you. But the reason I think I'll end up missing out on some of them is... Purely because they'll change... I wouldn't say too much, it's more the fact they'll conflict with some mods I already have installed. 
and I don't really want that. <laughs> like, the greatest example for that would be the... Uh, I can never remember the name of it. I believe it's called the Crafting Project. And essentially it allows you to create weapons, or craft weapons. It adds anvils to, like, several different locations around the world. And honestly, it'd be a really cool mod. But it wouldn't... It would, uh, conflict with my... Durability mods. And so, because of that, I decided, yeah, no thanks. And also the fact that the, the mod's not complete yet. Yeah, that's like another reason. If I could do this without alerting them, that would be nice. Because I do want to take a picture of this one. Because this is the first time we've actually seen a silver. A silver Lizalfus. Just the rear end. Yeah, that's fine. That's just regular and blue. Wait, a blue? Oh. What weapon could I use? Doesn't really matter, I don't think. I'll use anything. This'll do. There we go. One down. I'm just gonna do it. Super slowly. Oh, shield. A gimme. I do want to get a sneak attack on the silver. Even though silvers are a pain. They have so much health. Draw shaft. Shoot. That reminds me, have I taken a picture of this? Oh, we have the bow. That's pretty cool. Okay, I guess so. Shh. This is not gonna do much. Although, what if I switch to, like, this? Then it might do enough to kill it. I doubt it. It didn't. <laughs> oh well. You prick. There we go. Perfect. I'll just take whatever it dropped. Don't really know why I bothered to do that. It didn't give much. They never do. Oh, I'll actually keep using this just to destroy stuff. That's better? Really? Honestly kind of surprised. Oh, that one had arrows. Oh! And that one just had a regular... Regular roll weapon. What? Oh wait, come on. It's a wooden crate. Jesus. Can't believe how many times I had to hit that thing. Alright. There we go, we have the drill shaft. However, honestly, I think I might just do this. Sure, that's a terrible picture, but whatever, it works. There's a picture of the drill, sh drill shaft. God, I don't like... It's not that I don't like the drill shaft, it just looks a bit too suggestive for my liking, so... You know. Alright, we'll just go back up here. Um, honestly, I think it m probably makes more sense to go north from the shrine, get the chest, and then do the shrine that's just slightly north. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll do that. Because why not? Only issue is I don't quite remember which which shrine it is. I remember the metal one. There was one where I had to use fire. And then there was another one, but I can't remember it. Actually, I think there was two of them that required using fire. Ooh. Yeah, I think so. Honestly, I'm not too sure. Swift Violet, have I taken a picture of this? No. Well, there you go. Perfect. Ta-da! No, no, no! Pick it up, you dunce. Alright. Where I need to fly over to is... Basically, where those trees are. Should be easy. Well, the chest is kind of close by, but I may as well just uh, get some ore as well while I'm here. Whoa! 
Bunch of different enemies. There we are. Love our links keeping it real. Where the heck's the chest? Oh wow, that's quite far away. It should be far enough. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. It's not, I don't think. Oh, never mind. I was looking completely in the complete wrong place. Awesome! Right, ten ice arrows. Perfect. Um, I'll actually go up there to where there's the choo-choo and everything. Yeah, I guess why not? They'll get me some nice choo-choo jelly and some other stuff. Okay, fire choo-choo I have taken a picture of. Oh yeah, they aren't... Oh, you... There we go. Perfect. Oh god. It didn't set me on fire. And somehow the Lizalfos did not hear a thing. That's a black lizard. Lizalfos. Surprise! Oh! Okay. Wait, does that refill from, like, hitting enemies? It certainly seems that way. God, you can see that bloody line from everywhere. Crazy. <laughs> I literally called it a line. It's a beam. Whatever. I know what I mean. Still impressive, though. Yeah, kinda. Is that just a proceed? Oh, God, really? What have they got? Nothing of interest. A bow. It's like the most interesting thing they have. Yeah, I, I think if I actually hit enemies, that refills the ability. Interesting. But obviously, also it, you know, recovers over time. As should be the case. I should have kept a close eye on it when I was smacking the shit out of the, uh, the Zelfos. Then I'd know for sure. I can always look at that in editing, I suppose. If I remember. Alright, I remember that the shrine's down below. And then the chest is on like a enemy outpost sort of thing. Whatever the bloody hell they're called. It's one of those like wooden lookouts. Oh, there you go. One of those things. And it kind of sucks. Because there's a lot of... Is there two silver bokoblins? I mean, silver anything just suck. Yeah, they just have so much health. And they're a pain. Fire jujus. Doo-doo. Did I mark everything that I needed to? Show. Sure. Uh, okay, the only thing I didn't remark from the session that failed was the Guardian. That's fine. Well, I'll come across it anyway. Uh, it's the fire one. The power of fire. Oh god. The power of a bomb. Sheesh. Kaboom! Mm. Excellent. I did almost set myself on fire. Oh. There we go. Owned! I win. I win. What other weapons do I have? I don't have the flame spear. Oh, really? Oh, I got rid of it, didn't I? Duh. I got rid of the flame spear for the royal sword. I don't understand how I'm so forgetful. No idea. <laughs> Just one of those things I notice is like, my god, I forget things so fast. Like, you can actually use bombs to get rid of the vines. 
and it, you know, it works just as well. Knock that off, and then I believe I have to do this. And then with this I can shoot through here. There we go. I thought I'd missed. Oh, and there's also that. Kaboom. The door has opened. I'll actually knock this chest down. Yeah, because it, you know, it wants me to. And because I have an abundance of arrows, so why not? Oh, and here it goes. Will that not destroy the chest? I guess not. Oh. But you can actually just grab it with Magnetus. If you so wished. Royal bow. Fuck. Uh, just get rid of the current bow I'm using. There we go. Perfect. It's about to break anyway. I only know that from the previous session. Right, so there was this one. The other one I think was the one I used bombs in. I think I'll be up to six spirit orbs too. Yeah. I might just wait till I get to eight. Yeah. And then just get two upgrades. One for stamina and then one for hearts. Just where... I'm just trying to think where a good... Oof. There's one literally in the middle of some lava. <laughs> Which doesn't seem like a good place. I do have my flame guard greaves. If I, you know, if I need them. Alright, so there's that. Now I'm just gonna go up to here, grab the chest, and then I can leave this area. And then go to the stable. And start the shrine quest. I mean, I could just go to the shrine first. It's what I did before. Wait, are they gonna be asleep? God, that is... kind of awful sounding. Sounds like a real big thing. Oh boy. Yeah, I think it's the... the Moblin. That's asleep. What the heck? They must have just woken up. Oh, that's a damn shame. No. It won't have to matter. Oh. A random Dragon Bone Boko Club. Oh god. That missed. Here you shitting me. I can't believe that missed. Ah, did the other one? I don't think they have any clue. All right, the time of day makes this a an absolute breeze. Oh god. Okay, there is a silver. As I thought. There we go. Right, we just have the Moblin to worry about. Oh god, I just got a boot at first. What a dick. There we go. We win. Oh, oh I got a sneak strike. <laughs> that is brilliant. Oh god, I knocked him off again. Oops. Oh ho! Don't. I'll just take this. Don't care. Yeah, you are not doing your special attack. Because that thing sucks. Oh. There we go. Phew. Alright, just to double check. Royal bow. Oh, really? 
Oh yeah, there we go. There's an action shot. Right, well, that's Royal Bow. Right. What the Moblin was using is actually a pretty cool weapon. It's a really crappy version, but it's a cool weapon. I don't know what the one he uses is called. But there's a better version that's basically called the Stone Crusher. Alright. Oh, this one's called the Cobble Crusher. Yeah, it's kind of shit. The Stone Crusher, however, or Stone Breaker, is much, much better. Yeah, this one's only a 15. The Stone Breaker is like a 36. It might even be higher than that. A Goron made two handed weapon. It's made from thick, hard metal and has no cutting edge, so it relies on its sheer weight to crush all opponents. And there you go. Alright, what was in this chest again? Ah, oh, it's a fucking weapon. God damn it. Get rid of this. Yeah! Not what I wanted to do. There we go. Perfect. Right. Well, that's all of those sorted. So now I'll go back to the stable. Oops. Mm-hmm. I may actually stay the night as well. Just because I think that'd be a good idea. I don't know if it'll cause Beetle to, you know, restock or anything, but... It might. Hmm. But every single time I speak with Beetle, he's like, Nope, don't have any arrows, dude. Which kinda sucks. I mean, yeah, I've got over 300 and stuff, but still. I'd like to have more than 300. Especially given the fact that I know how quickly you can go through arrows. Hey, right, here we go. This is the Shrine Quest. I wish I had this kind of artistic skill. Have you come to look at this picture too? It's so beautiful. I could spend hours just looking at it. This painting was made by Ozunda, the owner of this stable or so I hear. That volcano in the background, it's so majestic and the stable is subtle in the scenery. I think the stable was painted from a southern direction. The composition is just so impressive. Ah, oh, there we go. A landscape of a stable. Hmm, what should he do? No idea. I'll have a bed, please. Um, I'll go with a soft bed. It's only 40. Morning! Perfect. Now the question is, will Beale have restocked? Of course. And there's Beetle, nice and sleepy. <laughs> yeah, he still didn't restock. I get the feeling he doesn't have any arrows because I have so many. Probably. Hmm. They sell for 300. Hell oh, yeah, you can have 21. I'll treat these like I treat diamonds. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're worth a fair bit. Kind of like... Well, every R. Yeah, I'll just do my usual. Sell him all of them until I have 25. No, oh, Opal I won't sell. Luminous stones, I can sell you... 58. There we go. How much is that? 4,000 rupees. Not bad. Topaz, you can have 14. I'll probably get more anyway. There's a shitload of ore in this area. Especially near the shrine that I'll be going to. Wow! Right, do you want this? 12 of those. And then of course, 4 of these. Diamonds are also just go down to 10. There we go. So I just made 20 grand. Not bad. Ah, will we meet yet again? How are you holding up? In case you were wondering about the song I performed at the stables, there are many theories about its origin. 
But according to my teacher, it was a song performed by the ancient hero to call his a call to his horse companion. <laughs> Wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's fucking a pony song. <laughs> yeah. Don't know why it took me so long to realize, but well, if you ever feel like hearing it, feel free to drop by. Time to get back to it. I've already heard that. Uh. Ah. Yeah, it doesn't quite do it the exact same, but this is what you would hear Malon singing if you went by on a night time. I can't believe I never noticed. Yeah, I really can't. That's so bizarre. I just want to speak with this guy. Cairo! I got plain sick and tired of working the Goron Hot Springs in Goron City, so I decided to just up and leave. I'm going to see the world. I want to see somewhere cold. I want to see green trees and hills. Alright, let's get down to brass stacks. Feel free to browse my wares. Sure, what do you have? Oh, oh, fuck off. I can find enough of that without you, brother. Uh -huh. Alrighty. I still can't believe I never noticed that was a pony song. That's cool. Right. Where's the chest? Oh, it's straight ahead. Well, that one was easy. Then there's one just up the hill over there. Oh no! Oh, I could have grabbed that. No, never mind. Owned! Ha ha. Oh, I love that. So much. Oh, these are all luminous stones. Ah, oh, bugger. If only I knew. What could I use? Yeah, I'll just go with the royal broadsword. Fuck it. I don't care. About the durability. It'll be fine. I'll have found another weapon by the time this thing breaks anyway. Of that I am sure. Actually, I remember one thing I hate about these places. It's the fact that they're silver enemies, and you can't pick up their weapons because they will despawn. Which is just bullshit. In all honesty. Oh boy. Oh god, wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just gonna say, why are they attacking me? Fuck. No, oh, I jumped into it. And I'm on fire, probably. Seriously, I'm trying to backflip. That's fine. I only did half a heart. As opposed to how much a burning weapon would do. God, for fuck's sake. Really wish there was a better way to target in a different enemy. So like if there's a group of them, instead of having to let go of target and then re-target them. It's just a pet peeve and a major annoyance. Oh, they lost interest. Perfect. He lost his weapon. Sucker! God damn. There we go. I think I lost more than half a heart. If I'm being completely honest. <laughs> um, can use that. God, I didn't realize how many rusted bit, uh, rusted, rusted masses I have. Can I get a sneak strike? Oh yeah, nice. God, that does a lot. Hot damn. Perfect. And there's the stone. What? Fucking disappeared. God damn it, why the her? I really wish that didn't happen. It's not that like the weapon he was using is really good. 
Just like, you know, slightly above average. Another royal bow. Which one am I using? That'll do. Get rid. Perfect. I can't remember if I got the stone, or whatever it's called. I'm pretty sure I got it from a chest. Yeah, I must have. I wouldn't have just found it. The only weapon the enemies use is the Cobble Crusher, which is nowhere near as good. And this one has a Silver Liz Alvos. Oh yeah, I need to take a picture of a Silver Bow Goblin. Because I haven't, for some reason. Yeah, I just thought I had. Don't even know if there's one here, is there? There is not. That's just how this works. Kaboom! That worked. <laughs> Surprise! That did not do as much as I thought it would. That works. Oh. oh god. Oh god. There we go. I hate them in their water spewing ways. Oh, nice. Disarmed him. I'll be taking that. Oh, come on. He was on the ground. Why can't that... Oh. Oh, I thought I knocked him down there. Would have been great. Whoa! That's fucking fast. There we go. I win! And the weapon he was using is gonna have disappeared. Oh no, it's there. Okay, I'm confused. I guess it just. it's sometimes the weapons they use disappear. It's selective. What a lot of bollocks that is. Alright, whatever. 